This is a story of a lifelong friendship. Of a bond stronger than any other in nature. It is the story of a boy and his, uh, dog? <laughs> George, we have to talk about Shep. He is out of control. He needs discipline. No, apes should be more careful. Right, buddy? Good doggy. George, in case you haven't noticed, he's an elephant. <laughs> Shep, an elephant. It's no fun being around him anymore. <gasps> you hurt Shep's feelings. He doesn't tell Ape to stop being smart or Ursula to stop being Ursula. E? Well, maybe we were a little hard on him. And second thought. I thought I recognized your handiwork. Why, Dr. Towel Scott, it's been a long time. Everyone, Dr. Toots is a behavioral scientist known as the Elephant Whisperer. Did you hear that, George? Dr. Toots trains elephants. Oh, <laughs> George already trained Shep. <laughs> This elephant is unruly, disobedient, and in desperate need of a bubble bath. Obviously, this is a cry for help. I shall train him. Beep, beep. Hooray! Today, we embark upon my patented elephant obedience training course, using only my whistle and a cookie. <laughs> I will mold him into a well-mannered pet, culminating in a formal dinner with visiting dignitaries, where Shep will demonstrate his knowledge of fine food and... Yeah! Cookies! <laughs> <laughs> now, Shep, one toot means stop on a dime. This time, to be specific! Ooh! Shiny! George, give you 50 cents for it. George, please listen carefully, as you will be the one blowing the whistle when the training is complete. Look at me. <laughs> I've got a cookie. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll also be using a large pane of shatterproof glass to reinforce the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, others. <clears throat> Not long ago, a very special pachyderm set out to better himself and maybe even have a little fun. Right, Master Shep? <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to present George with his official Dr. Toots whistle. Ooh, neat! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Goal achieved! Well, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> That woman saves a ton on plane fare. Do 
slow. Too fast. <sighs> George can get used to this. <laughs> Mm, Shep is like a different animal. Wait till Ape sees this. <laughs> the best part is how much Shep loves it. Right, buddy? <sighs> you look outside. Morning, Shep. George would whistle for you to fetch your whistle, but George doesn't have your whistle. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. One bowl of trunk a munch coming up. Mmm, good. You can taste all three kinds of liver. <laughs> yes, sir. One jungle wedgie coming up. Okay, George, enough goofing around. Ow! Yes, sir. George, I think I know what's going on here. Shep has your whistle and is training you. <gasps> oh. to untrain them. No! This is day one of disobedience school. Using a cookie and no whistles of any kind, we shall return you both into the ill-mannered, rough-housing, wild things we know you are. Ah! <laughs> oh. It is with great pomp and circumstance that I, Ape, bestow upon you, George and Shep, these diplomas, proclaiming each of you disobedient in the extreme. <laughs> Thank the tiki gods that's over. Well, Shep, old pal, can we just get back to being a boy and his big gray? <laughs> ah, good. We're back. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 A 
defenseless, innocent baby alone in the jungle is an easy target for the most dangerous of predators. Unless that baby is Baby George of the Jungle! Yeesh! In my day, folks used to respect their predators. that out of all the pebbles in the jungle, he found you. <laughs> What's that? Pebble needs an app? <laughs> it looks like your tongue is glued to the top of your mouth. This is why you shouldn't mix peanut butter with spider webs. Okay, hold still. I'm just gonna give a gentle tug. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, sorry, Tookie. George. Thwack. Hey, guys. Neat tie, Tookie. Thwack. George, stop doing that. You mean this? Thwack. Yes, that. Woo, little sensitive, hey, Tookie? <laughs> I can't get a break. Looks like things are going to change around here for this mouse. We brought a few things you can maybe use as a substitute until you find your rock. Uh, we got you, golf ball. The end of an old banana, a smushed up piece of tin foil, and Ralph the Slug who volunteered. Take your pick. Oh, okay. I choose tin foil. <laughs> George misses the walk. Hey, it fits! George, someone's in danger! George can't help. George is useless without Pebble. It's a man-eating plan, not true eating Everything fine, George going home now. I don't think that plan cares about that right now. Quick, use that new golf ball belly button pal or friend or whatever! <laughs> George told you he couldn't do it without Pebble. Yes, throw it already. George is nothing. Uh, a little help here, please. Can you describe Pebble? Hmm, round. Oh, uh, and gray. Yeah. Uh, oh, did George say round? Is this your missing stone? That's him! <laughs> What's with the tiptoeing, George? 
Well, George just being extra careful, you know. Don't want to get into any danger without Pebble. You were acting like a big nutty banana. <laughs> George still same George. <laughs> get off me! Get off! Get off! Get off! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pebble, come back. Where'd you go, Pebble? Oh, uh, Pebble, come back! Pebble! Pebble, where are you? Did you see Pebble? <laughs> Down here, George! <gasps> I found a comfier navel, George. Goodbye. <laughs> Forever! <laughs> George has to find Pebble! George, I really am sorry you lost your stone. So, I want to give you something very special to me. This is my lucky gutkerchief. I've had it since I was just a small ape and, uh... Thanks. George does feel a bit better. George, I changed my mind. I need it back right now. Uh, but it said right now. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll help you find that stone. Pebble, Pebble, George brought your favorite treats. <gasps> Is this it, George? <laughs> Pebble, not that bad. Yeah! Run for your lives! <gasps> What's wrong? It's horrible. Horrible? Evil. Evil? Scary. <laughs> Scary? Yeah! George, we have to go investigate this. Uh, busy. Picking leaves, you know. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> George, the jungle needs you. <laughs> okay. But ape, go first. <laughs> Who's laughing now, funny boy? <laughs> Pebble! Give back Pebble! His name is Rocky, and he's mine! Oh, Rocky! Oh, okay, that's not even clever. Hey, if you want a piece of fight cake, I'm your baker man. But I'm warning you, Rocky and I are a pretty tough team. Uh, no! George, are you gonna let that mouse just take Pebble? Well, kind of. <sighs> Poor Pebble, wedged into that tiny navel. No satisfying. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. George wants Pebble. Ooh, I'm scared. Yeah. Ow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, too scared to come out here? Not me, because I have Racky. <laughs> <laughs> George? <sighs> Is it valuable lesson time? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, yes. 
I think you see now that you don't need to rely on anything other than yourself for confidence. Yeah. I'm proud of you, George. Nighty night, nose blowing buddy. <laughs> George, give me back my gutter cheek. Night in the jungle. One must be on guard, alert, ever vigilant. Hmm. Ah, let me tell you another two-hour story about the stars. Oh. I've got a story for you. It's the season of the red baboon. The time of the year when we all take back everything we've given to family and friends, go hide in a cave, and eat leaves for a month. Ow. Wait a minute. The constellation of Capricorn, Sirius, the North Star... <gasps> I can't believe I forgot! It's almost Christmas! You know, Christmas. Families get together, give each other presents, sing songs, eat candy canes. Sounds better than the season of the Red Baboon. <laughs> oh, you guys would love Christmas. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. Why is it so great? When it snows, I go snowboarding in the mountains, zipping around the pine trees. Ooh. George would love to go around trees. And the food. Oh, Christmas dinner with turkey and all the trimmings. <laughs> and twinkly lights on everything. Ah, <sighs> Christmas is the best. Yeah. What's a pine tree? What are trimmings? Where'd our ball go? <laughs> Get back here. You'll find out all about it. Uh -huh. Daddy, what are we doing for Christmas this year? Uh, well, honey, this Christmas, we're in the jungle. Uh-huh. And uh, we don't have snow or stores or fancy food, so I thought we might skip it this year. Give Christmas! Never! Never! We could have an extra big Valentine's Day. <laughs> Good morning and happy holidays. This is going to be your best Christmas ever. It's our only Christmas ever, sir. And it's going to be the best! And this is the plan that's going to make it happen. George, you will find and decorate a magical Christmas tree. Magnolia, you will create whimsical winter outfits. Ape, you will arrange for heartwarming Christmas caroling. Chef, find the nearest hardware store. I want Christmas lights, all white, not multicolored. Christmas faces, everyone! This is not a drill! Go, 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 go! George! Look at these decorations. Aren't they magical? Aren't they wonderful? Aren't they hatching? <laughs> Don't be upset. Uh, we made eggnog. Oh, okay. Yeah, eggnog. Christmas in a cup. Just what I need. <laughs> Not good? Maybe the crocodile egg's not fresh. Ah. Ah. Great! At least we still have twinkly lights. <laughs> Just wait till you see them lit up. Now all we need is an outlet. We can still go caroling. Okay, everybody, go. <laughs> we didn't really rehearse. Thank you, everyone. 
but I've obviously failed to show you what Christmas is all about. So I'm going home to bed. See you after Christmas. We have to do something. Ah, don't worry. Ursula's a big girl. If Santa doesn't come for her this year, there's always next year. Wait, what's a Santa? Santa, you know. Santa Claus, he comes down the chimney. Hmm. George will find Santa Claus and make him visit Ursula this year. And so, their search for Santa Claus took them to the four corners of the globe. How can a big fat man dressed in all red hide so well? Yeah. George will look again after a, a short. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, what's happening? What's he fight, Santa? Does he look like it? Well, actually. Ho, ho, ho! You could use some help! There you go! Ho, ho, ho! He's got everything! A, a red hat, thingy! A white beard thingy? Ho, ho, ho! And belly shakes! <gasps> it's him! Oh! Someone is heavier than the average kid! So, George has Christmas wishes. Magnolia wants clothes, Abe wants Christmas feast, Tookie wants poison ivy, and oh, most importantly, Ursula needs a chimney for Santa to use. I see. And who is Ursula? Ursula's our friend. She told us about Christmas. <sighs> Everything should be fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's gonna be there. One question. What are you talking about? <laughs> Got all the toys. George, did you remember Tukey's poison ivy? Okay. I think we need more reindeer bats. They need a leader. Tookie, George knows you're scared of bats. Huh? But <laughs> won't you guide my sleigh tonight? <laughs> George got <draws> presents. <laughs> Hey, not all at once! Oops. your house and your Christmas but why are you smiling look it's just like Christmas back home Ursula really not mad no who can be upset when somebody went through all this trouble to give me a great Christmas huh oh <laughs> Looks great! <laughs> 
Uh, guys, we didn't do this. You didn't? Well, if not you, then who? Wait, it had to be Santa. Santa came for Ursula and George? Why? Because it's Christmas. Huh. Christmas still a mystery to George, but let's do it again next year anyway. I love... Really was Santa. Merry Christmas! And to all a good night. <laughs> It was the day after Christmas, and all through the jungle, every creature stuffed leftovers down by the bundle. Mm. <laughs> the ash flakes were scooped up and shovels with care in the hope of not sneezing from ash in the air. <gasps> <laughs> all year for Christmas, then poof, it's over. That's why George can't wait until tomorrow's Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, George, but Christmas is a one-time-a-year thing. Unless we do it again tomorrow because it was so much fun, and who doesn't like having fun? <laughs> George does! No! Nope. Sorry, George. Oh, why? <laughs> Christmas comes but once a year. Everybody knows that. But there'd be presents every day. Presents? Every day? I'm here. I have kind of gotten used to those catchy songs. Dancing through the leaves on a scratchy jungle vine. Trying not to fall and break your neck in front of the Merry Christmas, everyone! Again! <laughs> Dashing through the leaves of a scratchy jungle vine, trying not to fall and break our neck and spike my back! Christmas is over. Over. Not to me. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Again! <laughs> How do you like that one, huh? What's the matter with you people? Oh, Latin up, Ursula. You sound like that Scrooge old guy in that story. You know, the one that hates Christmas. <laughs> you mean Scrooge? No, the guy who's visited by the three goats in the middle of the night. Ghosts! He's visited by three ghosts. Hit it, Shep. Sorry, George. I cannot take one more second of that song. We're sorry too, George. But this is getting a little much. Does that mean no one wants more ham? And no more ham! Fine. More Christmas for George. <laughs> George of the Jungle. Cookie can talk? Good evening, George. George always thought it would be more of a cutie, squeaky voice. 
I have come to warn you. Tonight, you shall be visited by three ghosts. Warning. Three goats? Well, I was thinking ghost, but okay, we'll send goats. Warning. 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 Whoa. No more noggin ham before bed. I am the goat of Christmas presents. Ooh, you bring George presents? No. Oh. Come with me, George of the Jungle. <laughs> Hey! He can neither touch you nor hear you. Oh, but Dream George wanted eggnog. Now, listen up. Oh. In this world, your friends have been celebrating Christmas every day for a whole year now. Today was the real Christmas day again, but none of them even noticed. Look at their faces. You've ruined Christmas for them. And look how you've missed all the other holidays during the year! <laughs> we missed Mud Madness Month? Oh, George always wins mud pie eating contests! <laughs> Miss Slug Appreciation Day? No, oh, I love slime. George can't take this anymore. <laughs> Dr. Green, Dr. Green! On my back for a magical journey to the wondrous Christmases of your youth! Oh! Uh, <laughs> George not have any Christmases past? This year was kind of George's very first one. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Hang on! I just thought of something that should do the trick. I shall take you to a Christmas way back into the past of the jungle. Come on! Do open your present now, Tiny George. Oh, just what Tiny George wished for. Another pair of crutches. Goat bless us, everyone. Especially mean Miss Scrooge. Who's there? Uh, welcome, Miss Scrooge. You're just in time to share in our Christmas feast. What are you people doing? It's Valentine's Day! Fruitcake? Ah, fruitcake. <laughs> we have seen enough. <laughs> Say, you gonna eat, huh? I am the goat of Christmas future. Cool. Engage teleportation mode. Oh. 
by celebrating Christmas every day. You have never had any other days and missed out on 94.7% of everything else in life. I didn't even get one slug appreciation day. Negative. No! No! George has been looking everywhere for you. George has learned valuable lesson. Scrooge Ursula was right after all. Thanks. Sort of. Christmas every day? Not good. From now on, every day is... Slug Appreciation Day! Dashing through the sun. <laughs> In the jungle, everything fierce runs wild. And everything wild runs fierce. Even the wind. No wind can match the wild, fierce determination of our hero to nap. George, that was a tweet for help. He'll be right there. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Gotcha! Gotcha! Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha! Oh, oh! Uh, 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 everyone okay? Teeny feather friend. George is our hero. 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 Ape? What are you doing? Just sitting in my hole of low self-esteem. The traditional ape way of feeling sorry for yourself. What's wrong? Well, George is my best friend, and he's a great hero. But no matter what I do, people always give him the credit. And somehow I just feel... wet. You sit in a muddy hole, you take a seat cushion. Who doesn't know this? Ugh. Ape, you have every right to want your good deeds noticed. Next time you do something special, don't be shy about taking credit. Hmm. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I dug that hole. You like it? <laughs> Never fear, Ape is here. That's nice. <laughs> Help! I'm sinking! Good thing you called me, Chef, or I would have been in real trouble. George, I was doing just fine until... George! 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 I, George, I George, just... George, no. can't really talk now, Magnolia. I'm not low enough yet. Ursula told me you were feeling down, but I think I can help. The only difference between you and George is that you shower more often. He has a snappy eye-catching outfit. Oh, I suppose. And you think this cape makes the right statement? Definitely. It says, look at me, Jungle World. I am a superhero. Huh? Right? Say it loud. I'm a super ape, and I'm proud. Woo! Yeah! You go, gorilla! Now all you need is your own hooky jungle yell. Something like, uh, hi-ho! Um, well... Uh, how about... <laughs> My skin is on fire! What is this cape made out of? I was just leaves <laughs> from some old ivy. <gasps> Poison ivy! 
and show off. Boy, some apes can't laugh at their own bare butt. Um, George, I think you should know that Ape is feeling a little down on himself lately. Everybody laughing at his behind didn't help. Ape doesn't want to feel like he's just your second banana all the time. Hmm, but George can't help it if he's a big hero. Ta <laughs> Hold that thought, guys, and stay close. Because somebody's about to become a big, hairy, first banana. Oh, darn. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Ape can't be first banana without a fruit bowl full of trouble. Ape! Oh, help, Ape! Gazelle needs Hero to save them from rocks. <laughs> Oh, amazing! Uh, ape? Ape! Doctors are in danger! Save them from the flood! Flood? There is no flood. Yes. Ah. <laughs> in their extreme sport. Hey, everyone! The doctors are safe! Who's the first banana now? Huh? Uh. Oh, my aching fur. Ow! Ow! Oh, help me! Killer bees! If only a hero would save me! <laughs> Don't worry, George! I'm coming! <laughs> Don't give up! Oh, hurry, Ape! Ow! Not so hard! Ow! The hell! George is a prey! feel special. Fine. Disempower me. I got honey running down my back anyway. And with that, Bee Girl got a super heroic idea. All thanks to his sidekick, Honey. The first annual Give Ape a Trophy Day. George writing jokes for the roast. <clears throat> I won't say Ape is hairy, but... But what? That, that's the joke. Hairy butt. <laughs> bananas! Get your bananas! Boy, I love an all that crowd. Ape, take a break! It's Give Ape a trophy day. You should be celebrating. No. Thanks for letting me do your trash, though. At least here, someone appreciates me. Well, I got a close shop anyway. I just sold my last banana. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Security! We'll get more bananas! <laughs> I'm ready! Um, the apes are looking at you funny. 
George, what are they saying? Oh, let's all eat the giant banana. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you're the big banana. George, Magnolia, Ursula. <laughs> you everybody <laughs> i'd just like to say that this is the best uh, day but of first i'd like to share a joke about a Perry <laughs> <laughs> oh, hiya <clears throat> i won't say ape is hairy but <laughs> Lemmings run. Is there only one bathroom? Is there a sale on teeny tiny running shoes? No! It's the annual lemming migration! What are you doing? Is nobody stopping to question this madness? Congratulations, George. You just saved hundreds of tiny lemming lives. Oh, they're just gonna jump again next year. George wants to do something big. Oh. <gasps> well, technically, this is bigger. You want us to run off the cliff like lemmings? And you're gonna catch us with, with that big mitten thing? Uh, yeah. That was amazing, George. I'm worried about that look on George's face. Anybody worried about me? His face has been stuck like this all day. Hmm. Yes, George has what's called crabby face look. Quite common among junior high math teachers, great aunts, and for some reason, people who make cartoons. Maybe he just needs a little smile therapy. He needs my patented Medislap cap. This'll slap that look off his face in no time. Hmm, I need more slap in this cap. George has lost sight of how important being king of the jungle is. George's outer world is in conflict with his inner world, like this. Is there a cure? George must return to nature and meditate until his inner and outer worlds are balanced. And so, George set out for Meditation Rock. In meditate. 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 Oh. Oh, oh, oh. George. Hmm. Wake up, George. George. Hmm? Whoa. Oh, hey, Ursula. Uh, where'd your legs go? Ursula? <laughs> That's a funny name. I am a nature spirit. My name is Carla Who Makes Trees Grow. <laughs> Talk about funny names. Making trees grow is a pretty big job around here, since somebody is always knocking trees down. 
Yeah, I might have crashed into one once. Follow me. I'll show you how it's done. Whoa! Can George try? Uh-uh. No, George. George? George! Hmm. Carla, you're behind schedule. The seasonal guavas are supposed to be out by now. Ape? I prefer to go by my full name. The Magnificent Ape of Time! Heads up! <laughs> oh, hi, Chuck. Oh, I have an official title, too, you know. I'm Chuck the Rain Spirit. Smiles, everyone! Susie Sunshine's here! <gasps> now that's big! Sorry, Chuck. Rainy season's over. Huh? No fair! Hey, what's this one do? Don't pull that! No! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just pulled the earth. <gasps> That's even bigger. <gasps> cool. <sighs> Time for a coffee break. Jerry Rivers. Rivers, waterfalls, creeks, and tributaries. Billy Blizzard. Snow, hail, school closings. Wow! You all have such important jobs. We work around the clock without any overtime. Oh, George wishes he could do big stuff like, like you guys. Trust me, water gets a little old after a while. I heard that! I'm sorry, George. Nature spirits can get a little cranky sometimes. I'm not cranky! Uh, George will take over for you, if you want. Really? Really? Be crazy! Be crazy! Be crazy! See? Instant blizzard. It's easy. Any questions, read this. Oh. Okie dokie. Yeah, read the chapter about the Great Jungle Blizzard of 98. That was mine. Blizzards for beginners. George, this is a list of trees that need to grow today. See you in a week. <laughs> oh, rats! To make sunset, pull chain. Sun once a day. You just made a whole week go by really fast. Uh, I did? <sighs> yes, so we have to get to next week's thunderstorm right now. <gasps> I'm gonna make a thunderstorm. <laughs> about that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
was there, and Magnolia was there, and it was really mean to me. George, it was just a bad dream. No, it was a good dream. George realized he doesn't need to be any more important than he is. Aww. Aww. I don't get it. Uh, I, I guess you had to be there. Beware, George. Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ah! Oh! Nope! Uh, uh, Woohoo! <laughs> 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 